Okay, so let's wrap up with the final slide, the US pre-market movals and some chart levels. Okay, well, I've just picked out one stock um, in terms of uh, pre-market movers, and this was uh, Helen of Troy, which moved sharply higher after hours on Friday, up around 12.2%. Having said that, um, it had fallen in hours uh, by more than 10%, so after Q1 results, so it sort of slumped in, in normal trading, it, it rallied sharply after hours. It'd be interesting well. to see how it performs um, in uh, in normal trading again this afternoon. It's a, it's a sort of a, a mini Procter & Gamble or Unilever, a personal and household products group. Um, so H-E-L-E is the ticker there in the US, one to perhaps keep an eye on, if, if only for uh, personal interest uh, later on this afternoon. And then in terms of levels, uh, so European equities are better, as we said. So 6,700 now will go for as our downside level to break uh, in the FTSE, base 67.50 if we're going to make further gains to the upside. The DAX has moved up uh, uh, more impressively. So 11,460 now will be our downside level, plays 11.570 to the upside. Um, it's a mixed bag in the US, really. The US markets were better on Friday, but I don't think they were that convincing. Uh, 20.56 uh, is the downside level now in the S&P plays 2085. And for the Dow, we've penciled in 17,635 on the downside, plays the round number at 17,800. Perhaps the biggest disappointment today has been the performance of the Euro. Uh, as I said, an early spike uh, on the Greek news, but it's basically sold off and not likely to recover from there. So 110.43 now is uh, a downside level, plays 110.83 to the upside. In Aussie US dollar, 74.12 plays 74.50. Uh, dollar yen, the yen just weakening slightly against the dollar, so 122.60 now our downside level, pays 123.70 the upside. And cable, um, again firming up uh, against the dollar sterling there, so 155.30 our downside level, pays 156.02 to the upside. Okay, and they're all the cash levels to people in terms of the, the indices, aren't they? they are, just yes. to reiterate that. Okay, Darren Sinden, Market Commentator, Admiral Markets, thank you for your time as always. That wraps up the Wall Street crossover show. We'll be back tomorrow, one o'clock. Have a good day. Thank you.